Tater, great to have you both. Di, I'll start with you. What do you make of Good the polling? How do you think Palin would do in a primary? Could she win? Well, you know, I think uh, those numbers pretty much track to their approval ratings um, in the general public. The president is at about 57 percent, and Sarah Palin's at 39. So you're seeing undecided folks split for the president um, in a head-to-head -head matchup. More importantly, I think people are looking for leadership that is reasoned, that is expert. And I think Sarah Palin fundamentally just is not a policy expert. That's something that came out over the course of the 2008 campaign. So things become very clear. She's tried to establish herself as someone who's a bit of an expert on energy up in Alaska. Uh, but as we know, I mean, I think she'd be hard pressed to name a greenhouse gas. So finding some place uh, where she can stake out territory as a policy expert would be critical to her even thinking about challenging the president in 2012. Uh, Philip, that same Maris poll asked voters if Palin's resigning early would help or hurt her political aspirations. And 61% said it was a bad move. 15% said it would help her. What do you think about the resignation? I think it was a bad move if she has political aspirations, if she wanted to be out of politics, then it makes sense from a personal perspective. The reason why is that she has a very crew, uh, core group of passionate supporters. However, if she wants to win as a national candidate, she has to convince skeptics that she's qualified enough to do the job. And so leaving her position as governor deprived her of an opportunity to show to build up more qualifications. But Philip, doesn't she also need to establish that she has a grasp of basic facts? I mean, she was the one who was all over the board on these death panels, and there was no such thing as a death panel in the bill. Doesn't she need to be able to acknowledge reality if she wants to be on a national political stage? Well, look, I mean, I think the thing is, a big reason why she's remained sort of a prominent role is that liberals are obsessed with Sarah Fallon, and they're obsessed with making a big deal out of her. And, I mean, let's face it, this is a woman who is now no longer an office holder. She's a private citizen tweeting and posting some stuff on a Facebook page, and suddenly the left just goes completely bonkers of it, and we're, we're right, sort of such a train wreck. I mean, it's a train wreck, and no, here's somebody no. who's openly talking and openly leaving open the option of a presidential campaign, and at least a large segment of our society believes that Sarah Palin does not have a grasp of basic facts and the truth. Yeah, but, but right. I mean, we're several years out from an election. She, you know, the 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 presidential election is over. She's no longer governor. So I just think that this obsession with Sarah Palin borders on the absurd when you're focusing on what she tweeted today. It's kind of well, absurd. Dio, I think uh, Philip makes an interesting point, the fact that she is a private citizen now. Does she right. have some sort of free pass in terms of, hey, look, she gets it wrong, she gets it wrong, she's just out there tweeting, she's emailing, but she's not a governor anymore and she's not running right now. Yeah, I don't think she gets a free pass on this one at all. I mean, and again, you know, liberals are certainly not obsessed with Sarah Palin. We've sort of been, she's been thrust upon the whole country um, by a bunch of uh, conservative elites from the East Coast. Newt Gingrich just advised her to pick up an apartment in New York or in Washington so she could be more at home uh, amongst the class that she likes to deride so much. But look, we're not her constituency, liberal Americans. Um, she's going to have to win a Republican primary. And I think that that will be tough for her because she doesn't have the grassroots support. She's out there tweeting in the dark. Um, and I think that she'll have a hard time, despite what your poll says, matching up against folks like Mike Huckabee, who are overlapping with her natural constituency and could very well take votes away from her. He's out there beefing up in the Middle East, and she is still in Alaska, still doing the same act that got her to a state, uh, to the head of political leadership in a very small state, uh, but is not enough to carry her past uh, President Barack Obama. We should remember what he said uh, when he heard she was tapped as the vice presidential running mate. He said, look, it took me four months to get my foot as a national candidate, she'll never be ready in time. And I think the way things are going by 2012, she still might not be ready. Dio Olapade and Philip Klein, thank you both. Great to talk to you. Great.